Hey, what's up everybody? Mike Lovelace with Lovey's Fat Life. We're your food and travel channel. We like to smoke meat, we like to grill meat, we like to griddle meat, we like to do restaurant reviews, and we love to travel land or sea. This time we're in Pigeon Forge at the uh, Music Road Resort, and we were staying in a premium king with a fireplace that had a hot tub, a sleeper sofa, and an awesome river view. We're gonna uh, take you through this hotel, let you see what the room looked like, look what the little river looked like, um, and then at the very end, we'll give you our opinion of it. Would we stay here or not again? But uh, again, this is located in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, right there at the Sevierville line and not far from Gatlinburg as well. Thank you guys and like, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Thank you. All right, at the beginning of this video, we're gonna show you the actual room and then we'll uh, at the very end, walk you through the whole lobby. All right, 7.15. This is a king with a river view i just came in to cut these lights on because it was really dark as soon as you come in the bathroom's here i gotta figure out how the lights operate there they go so yeah nice countertops here double mirrors double vanity it's a tub Back here, you got like linens to be held. Guess the way there if you want to put trash. But yeah, nice, nice bathroom. And you got, this is what these are. You got iron, ironing board, comfort up top. we got the king size so it's a king bed and that folds out into a bed as well and then we got the jacuzzi hot tub and this one it's right there at the bed and then right there in the water so that's pretty cool it is dark in here i had to open this up just to let you know it's got a tv i think it said 37 inch a lot of drawer space here. Uh, this one actually has, and we're not gonna turn it on because it's 90 degrees, but it's got a fireplace in the room as well. Got the air unit over here. Kind of looking back at the room this way. And then we'll go outside. A nice big deck out here. Um, and this is a, considered a river view. So they got areas down here you can go and sit out. You can go down to the river, I guess, if you really wanted to. But yeah, you got the Smoky Mountains here. Parking lot over to the left. How's that feel, Aunt? Good. Got the jets on? Yeah. All right, beside the jacuzzi tub, I saw this and I was like, what is that? <laughs> Wasn't paying attention, but the refrigerator is tucked in here. It has a microwave in this room. Looks like a little coffee maker. Ice chest as well. So that's tucked in this corner out of the way. All right, so now we're going to walk you around the uh, main lobby. The main entrance right here was to the right when you came in. Here's the check-in counter. Um, they were, This was a very clean, very cool area. They were doing some construction is one reason why I muted this. It looks like they were installing some door uh, doors to the left of this fireplace. Uh, you'll see here in a little bit. There's a little uh, there's some um, sheets of plywood up uh, protecting it. Um, right there it is. You can see it to the left. 
but really cool area. Uh, you would see people hanging out in this area occasionally. Maybe other people were checking in. Uh, this fireplace area is really cool. I bet during the winter time, you know, it's fired up. It wasn't fired up now again because it was summertime. It was in the middle of July. And it was in the 90s. But just a really cool area. I mean, you got kind of like a living room area and then like a sitting room area. Uh, nice pictures, nice decor on the walls. Just a really elegant uh, kind of, you know, looking area. Um, very nice decor. All right, stepping in here, this is where they have the continental breakfast every morning. Uh, we did not stop and eat in here. There was quite a few people that did every day, but they were using this area as a storage area as they were working on the lobby area during the daytime after breakfast. This is the hallway going out to where the pool area is at. Uh, it's a long hallway. You had bathrooms on the right. Uh, you also had a computer room on the other end. Uh, right here is an arcade that we're going to go in and check out. They had a pool table and uh, you know, typical arcade. It wasn't huge, but it wasn't small either. Um, a few video games right here. Of course, they got Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, the classics. And they did have a pool table over here too. That was really cool. Okay, off of this arcade, you can go directly outside and there's a, a full length patio type area on the rear of the, uh, the hotel. And you can sit there in some nice chairs and rockers. And just uh, right here, you can see um, you know some Adirondack chairs umbrellas you can sit out here and just have a few drinks look at their little river area right here is where we go into the um, indoor pool they have it's a decent size indoor pool they have a little hot tub area as well in the back we'll show you a little bit more of that later on and then we're going to walk outside uh, into the pool area now in the pool area it does go from a deep end to a shallow end when you go so this is going out of the indoor into the outdoor pool area they have a cool little area here to, to have snacks and food uh, they were not out selling stuff here that when we were there uh, you have a, a three foot uh, it does go up to i believe nine foot on the deep end uh, they have a diving board here as well but again nothing to worry about if you got you know kids that are you know nine ten years old they can stand up in the water right here uh, and it's not a big issue uh, again, they have a mushroom here with water coming down. Uh, and, uh, you know, so this area, this weekend, there was a lot of kids in town. I think they had a baseball tournament going on. So the, this place was packed with kids. During this view right here, you're seeing there's not a lot here. But late in the evenings, there was a ton of them. I think mainly because of baseball games during the daytime. And plus, uh, families are going checking the Smoky Mountains out. Again, this is the Music Road Resort. Uh, they had a nice little slide right here that goes into the water area. There you can see the... Uh, the diving pool on the other end or diving board on the other end uh, and then uh, you got the lazy river coming up All right, this is late in the evening. This is a really cool area. Uh, they have the lights on, uh, the string lights, uh, but you also have this river, or some would call it a big creek. It's the Pigeon River that you can sit down, have a drink, um, and just relax. Um, the, the one thing I didn't put as a negative on the end of this was you know, the internet outside. Uh, it was a little bit shady, uh, but here you can see like the, the string lights uh, late in the day, and you're just kind of sitting in these chairs, rocking chairs, just peaceful and serene and listen to the water run. Uh, just a really nice area to relax. All right, we'd like to go ahead and give you our uh, opinion of the Music Road Resort. Um, some negatives we saw here was it is expensive. It was over $1,000 for three days in mid-July in 2021. 20, uh, um, there was no USB outlets. Not even the clock had a USB outlet. Uh, and there was really only one outlet that wasn't completely full for one spot uh, for your cords that you wanted to plug in. The elevator rides, we were on the seventh, the very top level. They were very slow and crowded. Um, there was no safe in the room, which kind of shocked me being a, a nicer hotel and uh, the not enough parking. So if you got in late at night, uh, you were gonna have to uh, wait for a while 
uh, to get a spot, or some people were even parking on the side of the roads. All right, so what are some of the positives of, of the Music Road Resort? Very large and spacious rooms. Uh, the great views of the Smoky Mountains. Uh, we sat on the very back, and we did have the river view. Uh, the pool area was very large for kids, if you had kids or even adults. Uh, continental breakfast, we, even though we didn't eat there, uh, we saw quite a few people eating in there, so we take it that it was good. Uh, the river views were awesome. The location was awesome, being right there at the Sevierville and Pigeon Forge line. It was right at the main parkway. Uh, and you still didn't hear the traffic of the parkway. The bathrooms were very large, had the double vanities, so you both could be getting ready uh, late in the day or right before you go out. Uh, and it was very clean. Uh, that, that was a very big plus for us, was it, it was exceptionally clean. Hey, so the big question is, is would we stay here again? Um, yeah, I would stay here again. Uh, overall, I, th I thought it was a good experience. I don't know that I would stay here at this price point. I do think the Margaritaville Hotel, uh, a couple blocks away, uh, for the, about the same amount of price, is a lot nicer room, uh, a lot more amenities with it. Um, but yeah, this was a nice place to stay. Uh, there was a lot of kids during this time period. I wasn't too happy about the elevator being slow as well. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good experience overall. Just don't know if it was quite worth $1,000 for three days. If we did it again, we probably would not get it with the jacuzzi and the fireplace in the room, and we would have been just as happy. Thank you guys, and like and subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing. Lovey's Fat Life, the fat stands for food and travel. Thank you guys, and have a blessed day.